Our reading this morning continues in the Gospel of Matthew, the 23rd chapter. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. The church is a weird place. <laughs> I think maybe we've mentioned that by now. Uh, it isn't really structured like any other organization anywhere. It's not a business with a CEO up at the top. It's not a government with a prime minister or a president. It's not a traditional nonprofit with a board of directors. At the end of the day, at the head of the church is Jesus. And that's basically the whole structure. <laughs> We've got folks who help organize things or bring particular gifts or skill sets to the church, but it's a remarkably flat institution. There's no middlemen. There's no chain of command between you and Jesus. This is both exhilarating and a bit scary. There's no longer a priest or prophet or king who mediates your experience with God. God moves us, God drives us, God connects with each of us directly. The awesome God, the infinite God, the God who passes by Moses with such holy light that he literally glows this, these radiant beams. That's the God who is intimately and directly connected to each of us. It's a bit like being handed a, a live wire or a fire hose. It feels both dangerous and powerful. What used to be contained by hierarchy and ritual and priests and temples, it's all been torn through. The curtain and come out among us. There's no one left to blame. There's no one there to misinterpret or slow you down. God has given each of us a unique calling in this world, a mission for which he calls us to account. But he's also given us the gifts, the power, the freedom to go and live it out. There's no one in the way, no one holding you back. It's time to go and live out the kingdom calling God has given all of us.